With a performance of Way Too Big off his internationally acclaimed and Grammy-nominated album Twice As Tall, here is Burna Boy. And the Grammy goes to... Ah, oh, come on. Twice as tall. Burna Boy. Oh, my night job. On March 14, 2021, Nigerian artists Burner Boy and Whiskey became Grammy winners. Damali Ogulu, also known as Burner Boy, has several nicknames, but one he personally adores is African Giant. In previous years, his Grammy nominations may have been his only reference to his gigantic status. But from this moment forward, the African Giant now has bragging right. He is a duly certified gramophone holder, not for features or videos, but his fifth solo album, Twice As Tall. <laughs> Hello Gistas and welcome to Ninja Gist, your one-stop hub for hot topics and highly engaging entertainment gist in Nigeria. Thank you for subscribing and if you haven't, please go subscribe and hit the notification bell to keep you updated on the latest gist. Burna Boy performs and wins the Grammys. The Grammys presented by the National Academy of Recording Arts and Sciences, which comprises musicians, producers, recording engineers and other musical professionals, is often regarded as the highest rated award show around the globe. It celebrates not just American artists, but artists from different genres around the world and features exciting and elaborate live performances. This year, the Grammys opted for a mix of live and recorded performances in line with COVID-19 protocols as a full live show would have required a larger crew and contact among performers and bands. Hence, when Nigeria's African giant Bonaboy got the chance to perform, it was pre-recorded at the National Theatre Igomu, Lagos. Let's talk about Bonaboy's performance and win at the Grammys. During the last Grammys, Grammys, Bonaboy was nominated in the Best World Music category but lost to veteran singer Angeliki Kijo for a redemption of music inspired by Celia Cruz. A lot of people had expected Bonaboy to win with his album African Giant after a great year with hits that included Killing Them with Zlatan Ibile, Anybody and the Infectious Anthem, yay, but he lost to Kijo who subsequently dedicated the award to him. Bonaboy talked about his loss on his last album, Twice As Tall, on the song Level Up, where he said, I remember when I couldn't level up, cause the Grammy had me feeling sick as f throwing up that sh asking questions like why it wasn't us. Hence, it was almost nostalgic that Bonas Grammy performance opened up with the same song with a mix of the Afro love song, Onyeka and the Outsiders Anthem, yay. The song mix, all performed on live instruments, featured an all-white ensemble choir that would make a Christian sing along if it were a gospel concert. Twice as tall beat other strong contenders like Full Chronicles by Anti Balas, Agora by Bebe Gibetto, Love Letters by Anal Shashanka, and Amaja by Tinari went to win. Bonaboy's Twice as Tall album was released in August 2020 and featured top production from classic producer Timbaland, longtime collaborator Larry, Tells, P2J, Rexy, Screed, Andre Harris, J5, Mike Dean, among others. Artists featured on the album comprised Naughty by Nature, Kenyan Brand, Salty Soul, Senegal's Music Titan, Yo Soul Door, Chris Martin of Coldplay, and British rapper Stomzy. It had Bonaboy, his mother, Bosse Ogulu and Bad Boy Records founder Sean Diddy Combs as executive producers. Yeah, man. It's the Grammy boy. <laughs> Jaya. Jaya. Hey. Yeah, Odogu, as is also known, became the second Nigerian artist to win it after Sikiru Adepoju, who won it in 2009. Reaction As soon as Bona was declared winner, he could not hide his joy and laughter and gave a speech that reflected pan-Africanism. To every African out there, no matter where you are, no matter what you plan to do, you can achieve it, no matter where you're from, because you're a king. This is a big win for my generation of Africans all over the world. And this should be a lesson to every African out there. No matter where you are, no matter what you plan to do, you can achieve it. His family, Space Nation team and other affiliates who must have also anticipated the win burst out in celebration.
The most hilarious of the reaction to Bonner Boy's win is from at Goal Africa. Their tweet reads, Nigeria just won the World Cup. Oh no, it's the Grammys. Congratulations at Bonner Boy. Another Twitter user at Olua Solmon used the opportunity to take a dig at the Eddies for snobbing Bonner Boy. The very same twice as tall album that didn't get an award at the Eddies won Best Global Music Album at the Grammys. See Ninja, make with a fear god for everything where we do far. With the performance of Way Too Big off his internationally acclaimed and Grammy nominated album Twice as Tall, here is Burna Boy. Best Mother's Day, Mother's Day present. Best Mother's Day. I'm good. You're good. Yes. Whiskey wins too. Whiskey, on the other hand, won a Grammy for the best music video for his feature in Brown Skin Girl with Beyonce. Contrary to reports making rounds, Whiskey will get a gramophone as the best music video award is given to the artist, video director, and video producer. It is well deserving of Whiskey, who was previously nominated in the Album of the Year category in 2007 for his contributions in Drake's album Views. It is fair to say that a Grammy night belonged to the gangs of London. Tiwa Savage, Femi Kuti and Made Kuti will however get Grammy certificate for their contribution to Coldplay's 2019 effort Everyday Life which won Best Record Parking and Album of the Year. Meanwhile, Beyonce made Grammy's history on Sunday by becoming the Grammy's most decorated female singer with 26 career wins. She secured the record after winning Best R&B Performance for It Black Parade. All the big winners for the night were John Legend's Bigger Love for the best R&B album and Robert Glasper featuring H.E.R. and Michelle Indiego Cello on Better Than I Imagine for best R&B song. Since John's Roses picked best remixed recording, Kanye West won in the best contemporary Christian music album for his Jesus is King album. Beyonce's Brown Skin Girl was named best music video while Ketranada won the best dance electronic album and best dance recording and Taylor Swift won album of the year for folklore. Veteran rapper Nas also won the best drop album for his latest effort, King's Disease. Big congratulations to these celebrities and on a lighter note, Nigerians no longer have to wait for nice to bring on Grammy. While we do not know how choking this is for David O, since he's literally asking Drake and the rest of the world, who they breed? Who they breed? Yes. Baba, he choke. Yes. He choke. He choke. Yeah. <laughs> That's the gist for today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to like, share with your friends and family, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell to keep you updated for more videos like this one. Until next time, keep it locked.